196 people competing in the, in the event and in five waves and we yeah this uh, like it was, it was a good start um, the start was pretty hectic with uh, a lot of people in the first wave and before the steps which is about 300 300 meters we um, I was probably about 20 people behind the leaders and it's only a meter wide so you need to get in position before the, the stairs uh, and it's a 2k 2k's to the bottom so you're not in position you you have to fight your way to it um, the then you got 8k's to the to the road crossing um, it was it was a bit humid at the humid at the start but you don't you didn't really feel it you got to Megalon Road, um, pretty comfortable. Um, got to then, then cruised all the way to the river, and that was pretty steady. I had no one around me, but um, I was held, held pace all the way to the river, which was 15 k's. Um, then we went to cross the cross the river, and then start the hill climbs and uh, started catching a fair amount of people with the climbs because they've been a lot stronger. Uh, I held it all the way to the top which is 4Ks up and then, then you drop 2Ks down in elevation. Um, then you go all the way to the top of Pluvi which is another 4Ks climb. Uh, and then that's where my nutrition had an effect with um, with the humidity of the weather. So yeah, that my heart heart rate was too high to to keep pushing on. Uh, and then that was 10 k's of that, and then I still had another 10 k's. So I had 20 k's once to once to hit Bluey to keep pushing on. I did have cramps at the 5k to go and uh, that's when it, you hit the downhills and I cramped and that's where I took uh, the cramp fix and, and all that and that helped reduce that down so I could keep pushing on um, at a steady rate to, to feel that I can keep moving to the at 4 hours, 4.35, not the time I want to but um, it, uh, it was a hard climb. Uh, you get the thrill of the finish. It's uh, you sit here in those cowbells and, and the NRG crew at the finish um, does get shivers up your back every time you hear it. Um, it's it was amazing this year. It was it was pretty much. Two, two, three deep, wide. Um, people cheering. It do doesn't matter if you're first or last. Everyone cheers you on. Um, but then seeing your mate at the finish—that's that's the biggest inspiration. Well, I did this three years ago. This is my third year. And um, it's just all the terrible trotters and uh, your friends have done it, and they inspired me to do, to do that distance. And also, being in trail, it's more scenic and more relaxing. Instead of the road, you're not pounding the road. Um, you're all, it's it's more iconic because it. Is the is like 30 years it's happened, and um, I've seen people start and finish, and and uh, I've been a like a, a spectator for about four years, and then it's a passion that 
if you want to keep going. Because it's been 30 years when they started. Um, it's an iconic race, a uh, race and track itself. Um, it's designed by the convicts. Uh, there was only six people. The first race, there were six people that that ever like, started the race, um, and then it's progressed out to only 900 people to finish in seven hours. The bike and all that have helped with the climbing, um, but it hasn't, uh, hasn't affected me, but um, the running hasn't been too much. We reduced the running back to around 80 k's a week, 90 k's, um, and it, like, it's reduced so I can push up those hills and, and strength. Um, like the, the swimming has helped the VO2 in the throughout the race, um, but with the preparation, it hasn't been too much in preparing for the race. Just looking at the end of the race of the, the strengths. So the beer bet was uh, done a fair few years ago um, started with a, a group of mates that um, well, this betted on times and abilities so what they have done is um, so if they bet they bring case used to bring case of beer um, like six pack and it was a yeah a group of mates a bus full um, and they used to pull this pull all this beer in and then the winner takes takes all. And that was that was done with New South Wales Institute of Beer. Um, and then over time, it's got big enough. And then uh, say Terrible Trotters and the BBMA, BBMC, um, Blue Mountains um, Marathon Cup, uh, Club has um, like a joint together, and um, they've got three different um, regions with uh, platinum, gold and silver and you get ranked with uh, like uh, you will have a P on the back, a silver and gold like, left on the back of, the, of, the, of your foot um, just for people that know who it is and who the competitors are um, and with the platinum they handicap you so I was handicapped 15, 15 minutes so I have to I would have to run at a 445 to be a chance of winning the race because um, it goes on four hours um, time but we've we've joined now for two years under the Mick Miles uh, mates background and um, this year we had a few people that finished in top places um, and there's like probably about 60 people that compete in that that group so it's like a race in a race